Hello everyone and welcome back to the Vitas Chronicles. In this episode we will cover the early proto-primary period and the animals that lived during it. In the beginning of the proto-primary period a large radiation of relatively complex life had occurred. Animal life at this time was simple and soft-bodied but it was a key step in the advent of more complex organisms. The ocean floor was made up of mat ground, which is a layer of the seabed that is formed by microorganisms. This kind of seabed was found in Earth's Ediacaran and early Cambrian periods. Feather branches were animals that were abundant filter feeders during the early proto-primary period. They would form vast stretches of feather branch forests. But at the end of the early proto-primary period these forests would disappear due to unknown causes. Feather branches are composed of three parts, the holdfast, the stem, and the branches. The holdfast acts as a suction cup creating an air pocket underneath the organism to keep it anchored to the seabed. The stem is the part that connects the holdfast to the branches and gives structure to the organism. The branches is the part that the organism uses to feed by catching microorganisms and other organic matter, and along with the stem continuously grows throughout the organism's lifespan. The organism will eventually grow to be too large to support itself and it will flop over and cannot feed efficiently enough to sustain itself. And it will die. Zoocirculids were radially symmetrical animals that were one of the most abundant groups of animals during the early proto. Primary period, zoocirculids are composed of two parts the mantle and the skirt. The mantle is where the metabolic processes occur and is used in locomotion and the skirt is used in respiration. Zoocirculids have one of the most unusual reproductive cycles known. The cycle starts when two sexually mature individuals meet each other by chance. The two individuals will then fuse into a single organism with the genes of both individuals. This new organism will then split into four to six fragments, and each fragment will grow into an adult organism for the cycle of life to repeat. Because of this zoocirculids could theoretically live forever. An example of the strangeness of the protoprimary period are the spiraliforms. Spiraliforms grow in a strange way slowly spiraling outward from a central point. It also moves in a strange way because of its spiraling form it moves in loops. Trilobians were the first animals to evolve bilateral symmetry. Trilobians are composed of two parts the mantle and the skirt like the zoocirculids, but are divided into three lobes the anterior lobe, the thoraxial lobe and the posterior lobe. Trilobians grow starting with the thoraxial lobe and the other two lobes grow simultaneously on opposite sides of the organism, and reproduced by fragmentation splitting into three individuals by the seams between each lobe. Trilobians have evolved a rudimentary form of sexual reproduction, by releasing gametes behind them continuously since maturity hoping for another individual to cross paths with the trail. Gladia is an animal that had a rudimentary form of bilateral symmetry growing starting with the anterior end, and growing alternating segments down the length of the organism. Now we have come to the end of this episode of the Vitas Chronicles. In the next episode of the Vitas Chronicles, we will cover the animals that lived in the late proto-primary period. Goodbye.